Hello, everybody. Today is Sunday, September 11th, uh, rather October 11th, 2015, and this is a bonus blog, um, and uh, this is to further dissect um, episode 503, Paris is Burning. And, um, you know, a lot of people have stopped me on the streets and asked me, you know, what does this mean? And so I figured to give you all this conduit to what I believe is the reason for um, Paris is burning. So uh, Paris is burning um, uh, comes from an episode where really the focus has been the whole, and it's actually a very interesting comparison because the whole show, uh, minus the literally the last 30 seconds, was about um, how to effectively uh, address the fact that Olivia has um, admitted to being in a relationship with the president and uh, uh, and how the president is sort of managing that piece. What was very interesting about this, this episode was that the president and Olivia really uh, collaboratively addressed this issue. And so... You have essentially, you know, 55 minutes of, and that includes commercials, of, you know, kind of going back and forth, negotiating with Melly and Cyrus on, you know, how to communicate this in a way that marginalizes the impact on the grant um, presidency. And so... Uh, we are taken once the announcement, uh, once there has been an announcement made or a decision made to throw Olivia under the bus. We see that there is a news um, ticket that essentially announces um, there being some type of, of um, problem, uh, I believe in London, if, but I may be wrong, but certainly someplace else in another country. Jake sees this ticket at the bottom of the screen and then leaves and goes to see Papa Pope. Um, you know, I have read many of your comments of, regarding the theory, and a lot of you have done some great history on Paris is Burning. Um, I also uh, uh, am a member of the Scandal podcast headed by Jaha Knight and if you're not a member of that podcast, you should really become a member. The, the, the podcast itself is free. Um, and then you get some behind the scenes sort of in-depth um, um, viewpoint of, you know, each episode, you know, for a, a small donation that's really kind of up to, to you. Um, and you really get some uh, really good information. Again, it's headed by, by uh, Jaha Knight. With uh, she has panelists in other countries. She's got panelists in the South, um, and then also links to Smith, who we all know and and love, uh, who's a member of the Scandalistas and Scandal 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 Artie. I, I don't really don't get the whole the male female gender of the of the name of that group, but anyway, but Lynx is in there and he's on the on the panel. It's a really good discussion, and they actually had an extraordinary exceptional discussion. Um, on Paris is burning, but um, so but so they won't agree with this. The whole reason for Paris is burning is because Scott Foley needs a storyline. Yeah, that, I, I think that's it. Um, the idea that that the president is focused on his relationship with Olivia and is distracting him from doing his job of being president, I love. Because as you and I know, Papa Pope's primary disappointment with Olivia choosing Fitz 
is because he did not feel that Fitz was worthy to have the hand of his daughter, who has worked hard, who was well-educated, who um, is a self-made woman, as opposed to falling in love with this um, person who was born into wealth, given everything that he wanted, and who was an ineffective leader. Or, or in Papa Pope's words, he's a boy. And what Papa Pope said to um, uh, 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 President Grant was, it wasn't that he was in love with Olivia, but that Olivia was a door marked exit. And that was extremely interesting because what he was saying in, in, in essence was, Everything that his father, Fitz's father, said about him was true. That he was not as good as him, that he was an ineffective leader, that he was an inept leader, and that he kept trying to live this life in his father's shadow, and he will never be the man that his father was. And this was Papa Pope's primary problem with Fitz, that he did not feel that 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 Fitz was man enough for, for his daughter. And so when you look at episode 503, you know, it, it's kind of validated. He's all too consumed with trying to find his way out of, you know, his relationship with Melly, the demands of his presidency to cling on to Olivia Pope, Right. And, then, and this is Papa Paul's perspective. Meanwhile, there is a fire going on over here that he's not paying attention to. And no one is paying attention to it because they're consumed with this tabloid story about the president leaving his wife to go be with Olivia Pope. So that's kind of, you know, what this whole Paris is, is burning analogy is all about. I like that idea. I think it should be explored. I don't think that Fitzgerald Grant has been a great president. Um, too many sloppy scandals have been uh, explored with his name written all over it. Um, and yes, he's he's passed a couple of bills and he's, he's done a couple of things. But as presidents go... Um, you know, you can't put him up against Frank Underwood. You can't put him up against, um, you know, some of the other presidents in the fictitious, uh, uh, ficti fictional world of presidencies. He, he just hasn't been that effective. His presidency has all really been about, you know, sleeping with Olivia. With, with little tidbits of him doing work. Um, whether you agree with that or not, you know, I like that they're kind of exploring this whole idea that there's a problem going on and no one's paying attention to it because they're, they're, they're infatuated with this whole, um, uh, Olivia and Fitz thing. My problem here is Scott Foley's character, Jake Ballard. Jake Ballard told Olivia that her father was evil, right? Jake Ballard told Olivia she needs to know how to shoot and kill her father because he potentially might kill her, which we all know would never happen. But Olivia fell for that shit, which is why I started hating her. I don't hate her, but I started to. Jake Ballard... um. In cahoots with Olivia, put Papa Pope in jail. So why is he going to jail to go tell Papa Pope about this problem that's happening over there? He's in jail where Jake put him. So why is he going over there? We are about to go down a journey of, okay, I lost my light. 
We're about to go down a journey of Scott Foley's character, Jake Ballard, uh, going to save not just the day now, the world, in partnership with uh, Papa Pope. And I'm telling you, I don't like it. I don't like it because this really should be Olivia or Fitz. It should not be Jake. It, it, it shouldn't. And, and to me, it is a reason to keep Scott Foley's character around. And it's overt and it's obvious and I don't like it. Um, and so that's my thought. I just wanted to, I woke up out of my sleep because people have been stopping me and asking me about this whole Paris is burning crap. And, you know, whenever I see Jake Ballard's, uh, 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 Jake Ballard on the TV screen, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm going, why are you still there? Why? He's drinking beer. He's drinking vodka. He's saving the damn fucking day. And now he's taking his ass to prison to go visit Papa Pope, who he put in jail, who he said was evil, to go deal with this problem that only B613 B6, would normally be, deal with in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I know many of you don't like to think outside of the kind of the scandal world and go into sort of, you know, the writing and what the intentions are, because that takes us out of the, the, the world of the fiction and, and tries to impose reason into the thought process of the writing and thereby um, kind of it, it's a conflict between the worlds. But and I can be that way with any other character except Jake Ballard or Scott Foley. I can't because he's. He serves no purpose. And, and what they do is they try to give his character purpose by developing now another B613 subplot, uh, which gives him relevance in the storyline. And I swear, if, if this ends up with Scott Foley's character, Jake Ballard, being captive somewhere and Olivia has to choose between going to save Scott or being with Fitz, I, you know what? I'm not going to yell today. I'm not, because I got so, so much shit I got to do. But I just, I'm not going to allow myself to get into that negative space. I'm just going to wait. Now, um, before I close, I, I want you guys to get prepared, because this is what they do every year. And, and it's particularly frustrating this year, because season five, Scandal hasn't been this good since season three a lot of people didn't like season three because that was when um olivia or Kerry washington was pregnant and they they really had to um they had to what, what essentially what they did is they made uh a Kerry washington um basically she was a supporting actress because um they couldn't really give her the meaty scenes so then they really did uh, evolve other characters. Um, Quinn flourished. Um, uh, the, VI, the vice president, Sally, she flourished. Um, Guillermo's storyline took a, a, took a great um, uh, pivotal role. Um, Papa Pope became very pivotal. Season, uh, season three was um, the season of you're going to get on this plane, um, uh, by hell and high water and you know what i am the hell and high water that was season three i mean so there was some really great moments in season three but they really didn't have that much to do with olivia but there it was a really good season scandal hasn't been since season four was nothing like that and me and someone i respect very much uh have a descent we definitely on different sides of it people are saying that we had to have season four in order for there to be this great season five. And I disagree with that. I just think that it was poor writing. We still could have had um, growth in Olivia's character without there being shitty storylines that didn't connect one with the other. Right. Um, 
um, I think that could have happened, and it didn't. We started out with Run, which was a pretty good episode that went too long. Then we, I can't even think about a crazy haphazard writing that went on in season four. It was just, in my opinion, awful. Um, but season five has been a nice, refreshing um, uh, uh, season in that we see Olivia flawed but strong. We see her scared but uh, fearless. Um, and and what we really see is sort of that Olivia Pope that we were all um, awed by um, in season one. And it's nice to see that. And it, I would just really hate that for them to take away from a good season by going down this old B613 storyline. That said, uh, after 504, uh, they're going on hiatus. They're going to be gone for three weeks, probably, well, two or either two or three weeks. And then when they come back, they're going to start their countdown to the winter finale. Um, and I think it's probably four weeks because they usually go either right before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving. So, yeah, but it's going to be a good season finale. I do believe that because they, they've got a good footing. It, it'll be a good season of us, uh, uh, winter finale as long as they don't make it about B613 and Jake. Th that will that will fuck it up. So, anyway, I'm going to cut this short today. This was a bonus blog because, um, you know, uh, the, I, I really didn't touch into the Paris is Burning part. And, um, you know, I, I, my view... You know, is I also write, so I don't. Maybe you guys don't. Know, I write, um, and I, I'm very critical of writing. So um, I think outside of the world of the um, construct of the the scandal world, I kind of look at, you know, what was the thought process and things, and um, and I can pretty much reason everything. I can reason. Melly and I can reason. I can I can reason Lizzie Bear. I can reason uh, uh, Huck and Quinn, uh, Papa Pope, Mama Pope. The only character that has stood out to me has as being not necessarily authentic is Scott Foley's character. He started out authentic, and then something happened, which was forcing him to be a not just a regular on the show, but a major character on the show. I mean, I think now he's second billing to carry, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, and they did that not really needing him. They needed somebody, but not him. Because who needs a, a, a unemployed spy who did a horrible job at it, um, who wants to be in Olivia's pants, but she's not in love with him anymore. So what do you do with that guy? You keep shoving B613 down our throats. That's what you do. Anyway, you guys have a good Sunday. I'm going to see you back on TGIT um, where we will be doing um, watching uh, Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder. All right? You take care, good people. My love. Bye-bye.